Here's Dylan LeClaire telling you why Bitcoin mining will always be profitable. It's impossible to stop. Check out his explanation here. The, the, the idea that there's some number that miners need to make in revenue in dollar terms and, you know, the prices of 2x with every halving is just is a non is a non starter. Uh, and the people championing that uh, don't understand how Bitcoin works. There's a difficulty adjustment. It will always be profitable somewhere by someone to mine Bitcoin. And if it's not, then what do the, what do they do? They'll unplug and and blocks will slow down and difficulty will ratchet lower until somewhere someone is profitable. And with that, what's happening, Crypto Crew? Sean's coming back at you, another cryptocurrency video. Got a jam packed video once again. So, getting straight into it, taking a look at the Bitcoin price chart. We're sitting here looking at Bitcoin versus the US dollar. This is the two week chart. And you see, there's times when you should be buying when you're down to these levels, close to the 33 range on the RSI down here, down here, and down here. Now, right now we're out of this, but we have this pullback. So how long this will go until we continue to the upside? Well, look at this. Look at the chart. If we zoom in on this price action, what do we see? What do we anticipate? There's a few things we want you to pay attention to. Let's get rid of the RSI so you can see the whole chart. So the 20 is this orange line. The 200 is this line here. So you have to look at this based off of risk. There's a good chance that this was the bottom back here and it wicked all the way down to that 15.6K range. Now, if we do go lower, how low could we go? If we fall down, the current time it's recording, the 200 moving average right now on the two week chart is at 16.1K. So you see back here in 2018 and 19, we double bottomed out from this pandemic dump. This was a black swan event. If we have something similar, whether the stock market crashes, anything happens, we could see another double bottom formation happening. But this 200 moving average is a strong, strong, strong level of support. Bitcoin's fundamentals haven't changed. Bitcoin is still the scarcest asset on planet Earth. So remember that. Current time is recording. We're coming in at 25.8K. And if we do come back down, you're only risking a little bit of downside as far as it could be a 35% drop, which, you know, you're never, you're never going to be able to time this exact top or the exact bottom. But one thing we can say is if you look at that 35% drop versus back up to the previous all time high, which would be 172% move just to get back up close to 70K we are closer to the bottom than we are the top. So stop worrying about timing the market exactly. You can just start the dollar cost average. If you're playing with $10,000, $5,000, $1,000, just put X amount of dollars every week into Bitcoin or every other week into Bitcoin, the same way you do your 401k and set it and forget it. Because over time, Bitcoin just gonna continue to stair step its way up into the right. This is a bear cycle right here. 2022 and 2023 is the bear cycle. The halving's coming up. Historically, we know what comes after the halving. Price up and to the right, price up and to the right. We've reviewed this time and time again with you guys. Don't overthink this. And right now, Bitcoin has came back down and retested this 20. This 20 could be a bounce. We could see higher price action in the weeks and months to come. So keep that in mind as well in the liquid part of the portfolio i now opted to <laughs> i basically just have bitcoin micro strategy four or five miners and some oil companies and some gold miners that's it you're probably wondering who this is well it's an entrepreneur from mexico and it's ricardo salinas why is this important? You can check out more from him at his website here, but if you don't know, he's worth $13.8 billion. And what he's saying is he has in his liquid portfolio, Bitcoin, MicroStrategy, as far as stocks go, MicroStrategy is the only company that's really backed their company with a Bitcoin strategy, Bitcoin miners, and some oil companies. This is coming from a billionaire. So 
you know, if you don't consider him smart money, we don't know what you consider smart money. An update from Plan B, what he's saying, it's not financial advice, but let's put it this way. I never understood people buying in the red and not buying in the blue slash green after blue. So what he's saying, people buy these tops when there's euphoria. They don't think of when people are forgetting about crypto. This is the time the dollar costs average. So what he's saying, why don't they buy in the blue or the green after the blue? Because those are all price buying opportunities before the market ramps up into the red you don't want to buy tops you want to buy near bottoms and sell tops remember that but if you look back in history from el crypto pro this is an altcoin reminder that the altcoin season index shows that altcoins are moving the same level as they were last bear cycle 2019 2020 that's four years ago 2023 Going into 2024 having is exactly four years ago. People are calling for lower price action. Well, look, this is when we were in altcoin accumulation phase. And then if you sold your altcoins when the market took off, this is when you can get more Bitcoin value. Keep this in mind. Another update from El Crypto Prof. People are calling for doom and gloom. Bitcoin's at the bottom of the green zone of the reserve risk chart. And it was only this low in 2015 and 2020. So you see it this low before right here. This was around the pandemic dump in 2015. So this is a buying opportunity. When this market returns, how high will we go? Time will tell. Another update right here. The weekly EMA line is currently the most important support for Bitcoin. This played back in 2015, 19, 20, and 2022. Right here, we bounced off it. We came below it right here, fake out, Came below it right here, fake out, fake out. This looks like a huge cup and handle that could be forming before we see higher price action. This is definitely looking extremely bullish. And right now might be one of the last buying opportunities. And then an update, seeing Bitcoin scarcity. Shout out to Mark Harvey. About every four years, the amount of new Bitcoin issued in each block gets cut in half, which increases Bitcoin scarcity. We've been telling you this on the channel for some time now. And as of 2020 having the amount of new Bitcoin issued in each block is about 6.25 Bitcoin or about $160,000. So as you see, this is where we are right now, the 2020 having. This is what gets printed out in every block. And this is roughly current USD value based on the Bitcoin price. Well, you see, after every having 2024, this gets scarcer and scarcer and scarcer. So this price continues to go down and down and down. But what's that do for the price per each Bitcoin? That means Bitcoin is becoming more and more scarce. So the price is going to just continue to go up and to the right forever. Just remember that. And then we have an update from Jack Mahler. And what's he explaining and talking about? He's talking about Bitcoin, of course. Let's hear what Jack has to say. Jack, the other Jack, and I agree with him, thinks of Bitcoin as the currency of the internet because of the similar properties they retain. Uh, the internet has actually in similar properties of maybe something like the United States of America. There's a freedom in opining. There's a freedom in coming and going. Um, everyone is created equal. It's a system of users with no admins. And so it is a, a system that's designed to be peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, and because of that, there is no natural relationship with a nation state or a corporation. Uh, and so it is naturally global. Uh, it is natively digital, which makes it incredibly accessible. And it doesn't inherently require systems like trust. Uh, and so I think that that is why it is the currency of the internet. And more specifically, it's the first ever uh, digital bearer instrument. So bytes of data could represent physical value. Uh, and so for something like a Stripe, you know, Visa payments are promises of future settlement. Um, and so Stripe doesn't actually offer finality within itself. Um, it forwards along messages of promises and Bitcoin doesn't have a natural issuer. Um, no one, uh, Satoshi Nakamoto even paid for his or her, their Bitcoin with energy. Uh, and so it is a commodity like instrument in its truest and most natural form. Uh, and that's a very, very important property that even someone like the SEC is beginning to recognize. So, um, I think the combination of those make Bitcoin tremendously unique. It has a big bang type of effect where theoretically, in my opinion, it's impossible to replicate uh, and retain and achieve the properties that Satoshi did.